it's Sunday, so let's get something to eat and let's get started on a video by video tutorial on wrapping this beautiful piece of amethyst. So, I'm going to be making a video by video tutorial on how to wrap this thing, round bottom stuff, pointy bottom stuff, and kind of sort of pointy bottom stuff. I'm going to wrap this one first to show you how to do a caged weave of sorts. Of course, the cage weave, so like if you were wrapping a marble, you make a base and then spread the wire, spread the wire, spread the wire, spread the wire all the way around so it looks like it's encaged. You know what I'm trying to say. Okay. Here, let me catch my breath from running around and uh, uh, put some food in my mouth. I'll be right back. Okay, got my documentary going. I've got 28, 28, because I use up my spindles first. And the last little bits first. And that's a lesson for another day. When you run out of one wire and starting another wire, that's what I'm referring to. 22 gauge, and I didn't forget about you, Becky. I got that wire in, and I can't bend it. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, so in the meantime, I'm going to send you what I made. Once I figure out a safe way to mail it, I'll probably put in a bunch of cotton balls. <clears throat> yeah, because I don't want the wires to bend. They're going to move this way, but I don't want them moving this way, Okay. I, yeah, I, I can't, I can't even bend this, but I got to practice. So I promise you at some point, I'm going to send you another one. Would you stay still? I, yeah, I, that's 16 gauge. I can't even bend that yet. You can't even see that. Oh my God, that takes a lot of strength. I got to build my strength back up, back up and then cut it. But I got my pliers. Thank you. Got some wire. Thank you. And I promise right here, right now, to make you another one so you can put a even more weighted crystal on this one. And that's what I want for everybody. So it'll last forever and ever and ever. Okay. All right. So... Mimi, this is what we're going to get started on. Okay, so again, I've got 28 gauge. These are little wire bins. Because before, where's my line? Oh, there's my line. My timeline. Before, I would just yank off 10 feet. Because that's what you need minimum to make even a small pendant of 28 gauge wire. And I would just whip it. Do a little bit and whip it. Do a little bit so it doesn't get kinked up. Now I use these. They're on Amazon. You get eight for like six ninety nine. Uh, wire bobbins. They're called bobbins. Yeah. See, they look just like a sewing machine bobbin. Yeah. Okay. So let me go get some more water, and and we'll get started on a cage wrap. Okay. 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 So let's take off. I do mine this way. I leave enough room for the bale on the end. Can you see it right there? Yeah, so I don't know how big a bale I want to create for this. So let's just use about three inches for the bale. Imagine that you're going to cut curve this in half, which means I need a little bit more. Okay, that should be good. You always want to overestimate instead of underestimate. So if you have a little teeny bit of wire, take that little teeny bit of wire and wrap something smaller than that, okay? So we're going to take out four of these. Straighten it out now because it's easier to do it when you're pulling it off the spindle, off the bin. I call this a bin, just so you know. Whatever you whatever you folks call it, you, you call it. We want four of these. Okay, so now we got four. Set that aside. 
straighten as much as you can right now because later when the wire is twisting and turning it's going to be very bothersome so today we're going to learn a different weave okay because and and it's only a, a short weave because it just needs to m balance on that middle something okay and yeah you could have used square wire which would be bigger and then you'd only need two pieces and then you could do the three three weave for that we're only going to do maybe a centimeter uh of space okay so let's just do something new straighten the wire straighten the wire straighten the wire straighten the wire straighten the wires And most of the time you have to do them one at a time, very slowly. Now when I'm working with six or eight wires, of course I want them bent. So they'll be separated from each other. Okay? So until then. And sometimes you just have to bend them all one way. So then they're all going the same way. And then bend them back. Okay? So, let's take our bobbin of 28 gauge. Where am I at? Okay. Oops. So, you got to see how much is on this one. Okay, that's enough to get started. So, I pull it out. Let's just go ahead and pull out a whole yard. At a time. Okay. Okay, now... I figured out a better system. We're going to lay that across there. You want a nice long tail so you got something to, to hang on to, okay? Because these wires are kind of tiny. We could have used a, something bigger. But for with the size of your stone, what I think it is, this will be appropriate. And we're going to always loop around the bottom three times. Tuck and turn. around tuck and turn I want that wire headed where I want it to go next three okay see so now we got three on there right one two three let's go up between the two three wire is that right <gasps> oops 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 see and this is why I curve my wires at the end that's a lesson for another day we're just going to take our fingers. I need something closer up. Next time I'll bring a pillow or something so that it'll stop going in and out of focus. Three. Okay, let's do one there. And let's do another one, same place. Okay. Pull and push at the same time. Okay. Here, maybe it's not. I need something to set up like a few inches away from my hand. Turn your bobbin, make sure they're not getting knotted up. Okay, we're climbing, and in this tutorial, we're only climbing in one direction. We're not climbing up and down. We're only climbing up in this tutorial. I just separate it because sometimes it's easier to see. You go from one wire to the next set of wires, okay? What you jumping all over the bed for, boy, huh? 
Mm-hmm. It's nap time. Sit down. Chillax. Come on. Did I make it bigger this time? Let me see. There. There. Okay. Let's see if I could just stay right there. No, I can't. Okay, sorry. I'm trying. Okay, see. Okay, see, so now that's one full rotation, I guess you could say. And I'm going to take our pliers and scoot everything over. It's still a trip to me after all these years of uh, looking through the camera. It's still a trip to me to do things through the camera. Let's make about four of those, okay? Oh, and don't forget, all my all of my videos are downloadable, so if they're out there in the world, oh well, I can't, I, I'm not going to not make it downloadable to stop somebody else from being stupid and pretending to be me or whatever, because it's good to be me. You would want to pretend to be me. Oops. You could choose some of those toenails off, boy. I haven't clipped your nails in a few weeks. Let's keep it pushing. And after this one, we'll test it. I think the point will fit. Come on. Dang it. On three rotations. Oops, let me turn the sound off. Shit. Okay, whatever there. So, I made three. And now... We can trim that that wire. I always have a pill bottle close to throw all my bits in. I think you have uh, little babies on the floor running around to, to eat these. So we got to make sure, clip it just enough to go over the wire, but not all the way around. And then we're going to push that down. Yeah, see, so then I put that in my pill bottle and I just throw them away because you guys know I have lots of pill bottles. So let's smash that down. Let's push it in and tor like turn and, and squish at the same time. So then they see you can't feel that, okay? If it were against your skin, this isn't going to be against your skin. So now, just come on and stay, stay with me. You guys wonder why I don't make tutorials. But this is my sister. I love her. She feeds me. Okay, now we got to get these wires to bend. So I say, what can I, how, how, what can I get to get them to bend? Oh, I don't know. Said to pill bottle. <clears throat> Oops, sorry. Now, I'm just going to hold my finger there because I don't want that to change. But I want this to bend a little bit. And I want this to bend a little bit. Okay. Now you gotta set your set your stone exactly how you want it to be. There's more citrine showing on this side than this side, so that's why I chose this side. Try to just leave that that way. And yeah, this is the really challenging part, okay? 
So I gotta get that to stay flat. So let's hold that there and bend this up. Hold that there and then bend this up. <sighs> See? We need to get paid more for this work because I gotta tell you, everything's slipping and sliding. <laughs> There. It takes a minute. It takes a minute. We could fix all that stuff later. And if it's lopsided, nobody's going to know. You could just do a little 3-3 little three, three weave and put a curly cue there and pin it back and pin it back. If you want to. So. Okay, so now we're here, right? And we want to start whatever design you want on the front. Okay, so let's do, remember the 3-3 three, three weave we did yesterday? Let's do that all the way up here. Well, probably a little further. <clears throat> so we can at least do one curly cue and cover it. Oh, but you don't have a top, huh? You don't have a matrix Okay, so we're going to do the 3-3 three, three weave all the way up to here. And then we're going to decide on whatever bail we're going to have later. Okay, so <clears throat> let's get started on a 3-3 three, three weave. Remember yesterday? This is why I made that video yesterday. See, it's, this is exactly like yesterday's video. We're going to leave that in as much shape as possible. Your finger's going to hurt. Oh, well, that's part of the process. So let's start our 3-3 three, three weave on the top two wires okay for the for the moment let's bring that all the way through so we can pull and push that down and turn pull and push that down and turn pull and push and turn pull and push and turn uh huh pull and push and turn okay and you got to remember sometimes you're going to be working with a stone that needs long wires we could, I know how to add more uh, weaving wire, but to make something longer because you want to create, let's say, a nice big fat huge bale, you need at least five inches for that to create that bale so you don't run out of wire, see? Okay, there's two and three. Okay, so we did that tutorial yesterday. So you have that. Push it down, push it down. Go slow. Keep all your shit tight. Okay. You gotta start letting him out more at night so he stops walking over my face at three in the morning. Did I do that right? Let's see. I did, but we still gonna get the pliers every now and again. We gonna get those pliers. Bless you to those of you who can see around the camera, the cell phone. Okay? Come on. And we got a long way to go, so I'll be back. That's the reason why I want to get short acrylic nails. So I can push, push, push. Okay, so now we're here. Right? And we want to start whatever design you want on the front. Okay? So let's do, remember the 3-3 three, three weave we did yesterday? Let's do that all the way up here. Well, probably a little further. <clears throat> so we can at least do one curly cue and cover it. Oh, but you don't have a top, huh? You don't have a matrix Okay, so we're going to do the 3-3 three, three weave all the way up to here. And then we're going to decide on whatever bail we're going to have later. Okay, so <clears throat> let's get started on a 3-3 three, three weave. Remember yesterday? This is why I made that video yesterday. See, it's, this is exactly like yesterday's video. We're going to leave that in as much shape as possible. Your finger's going to hurt. Oh, well, that's part of the process. So let's start our 3-3 three, three weave on the top two wires okay for the 
for the moment let's bring that all the way through so we can pull and push that down and turn pull and push that down and turn pull and push and turn pull and push and turn uh huh pull and push and turn okay And you got to remember, sometimes you're going to be working with a stone that needs long wires. You get, I know how to add more uh, weaving wire, but to make something longer because you want to create, let's say, a nice big fat huge bale, you need at least five inches for that to create that bale so you don't run out of wire. See? Okay, there's two and three. Okay, so we did that tutorial yesterday. So you have that. Push it down, push it down. Go slow. Keep all your shit tight. Okay. You gotta start letting him out more at night so he stops walking over my face at 3 in the morning. Did I do that right? Let's see. I did, but we still gonna get the pliers every now and again. We are gonna get those pliers. Bless you to those of you who can see around the camera, the cell phone. Okay, come on. And we got a long way to go, so I'll be back. That's the reason why I want to get short acrylic nails, so I can push, push, push. And just trust and believe every time, every time you do like one set of threes, right? Just take time to take your pliers, squish and turn, squish and turn, squish and turn, you know, whatever. So we're holding it like this as best you can. So you can just work on these two wires. Okay? So take time to just... Oh, shit. Where am I? Damn. Hold it here. And go ahead and scooch. And scooch. And see, that's why I want a little tiny baby acrylic nails. <laughs> so that can not happen and you can stay focused on what you're doing. <laughs> okay? Slide it down really hard. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to keep doing this until I get to about here. Okay? I'll be back. And welcome to Truman Private Game Reserve. As you can see, we're watching a herd of Impala. It is quite warm this afternoon, but it is a beautiful afternoon. So my name is Cedric. I have Morgan on camera with me this afternoon. Lots of exciting things on our Truman side to catch up on the lions try to find Lalomba and also maybe look at the buffaloes. So yeah, so it is quite uh, exciting for us here. So on my side, I will try to see if Lalomba uh, is still in the area. Ailey will try to find the Talamatis again. So this morning we had a very good cat morning with some cheetahs, leopard, lions. But also this afternoon, I would like to focus a bit on birding as well. Yeah, this head of Impala, I'm quite relaxed and very quiet. It is quite warm. But uh, as usual, don't forget to send us your question at hashtag Wilder on Twitter, at FC on YouTube. And if you want we'll to fix that later. Email, this this question at Wilder has to be super, super, super tight. You can also register so, on website having at said that, page, you know probably... You After we do this side, I like this, the sides matching in front most of the time. We might just end up taking this wire and whipping it all the way around three of them, which means you're going to need to hold this here so this part of the design doesn't change and it's going to stay tight there to hold this down against this tip. Front, back, side, side top bottom 
have to stay in balance and we might just whip that around I don't know yet we'll see when we get there huh okay back to work Later, we'll get these wires together to so make sure they stay yeah, so, so together and the cute, the looking the good well. on each side. See, that's twisted right there. We got to gotta, gotta figure that out and get it untwisted so it can stay looking good, and professional, nice and neat. Okay. We'll think about that last. Because as long as these, oops, sorry, let's not get tangled. As long as these are nice and tight and in shape, it's still hanging on to that on the bottom. It's at the tippy tip point, or if it's not at the tippy tip tip point, okay? Okay, let's keep it pushing. And you just have to find as best a way you can to, you know, hang on to this little bit here. And, hang, and you know, and I kind of cut the rest of my little finger to not smash it because straightening these wires out afterwards is is not easy so these I definitely want to stay that way because that's going to trap that in the back make sure the wires are turned the right way okay and this is going to come up eventually to the top but I definitely want to squeeze these back because that is what's going to hold this is what's going to hold the back to the front okay so just keep trying as best you can honey to just just hold it tight like this and yeah that's where I strap up it helps me get less cramps in my hand and not get carpal tunnel so I know it's it's challenging at first but if you can just try to Keep these two fingers and you need to take a break, set it down someplace where the dog or cat's not going to get it. Shake your hand out and then just keep going. You know, just keep going little by little by little by little. Okay? Keep going, keep going, keep going. We're almost there. Push, push, push. And straighten, straighten, straighten. Okay, let's keep going. Slow, because you don't want to have to take anything apart. That's a pain in the butt. Okay, just keep going. It's all going to end eventually. Eventually. He has lost his prize at the last moment and retreats. Okay. Just keep going. Okay, so we're doing good. Let me bring let me bring you closer, said the spider to the fly. Um okay, so we're here. So at this point, you can just go dink and turn that down. Okay? Okay, so now we're here. Let's bigger it so I can see more better. Okay, so we went three, so now let's do two. One. These two wires are together now. The bottom two wires are together. Let's do it again. Two. And we'll go up to the next wire. Up to the next wire. Wait, let me see. Let me see. Okay, you go over there like that. Okay, okay, so now we're going to go up here. You see, and just like on the bottom, on the booty, we climb up and up and up. And then we start at the bottom, we climb up and up and up. And this, I think, is the fastest way just to put hold all the wires together. Because even from here, you could just do one and then go on to other Weaves. Okay. 
And however you do it, even if the wires are crisscross and mangled, just keep doing it. It'll be a pattern. All mistakes turn into a pattern. <laughs> they do. They really, really do. Now, this one, let's start bending that back in shape. And when we get to the bottom, go all the way around, back to the bottom, we're going to push this one in shape. Okay? Yep, we're going to push it down. Is going to be a little bit thick veil. Okay, see now we can just put them all together. E e e e e e e. See in the. Okay, so now you're going to see it's a little wonky, right? So let's take of this care of this wonky first, and we're going to just take our pliers, go underneath all the wires, and we're going to push with this thumb and push with the pliers. All at the same time, so hopefully, come on. Okay, it didn't do what I wanted to do, but that's okay. It's it's still gonna look beautiful. Okay, see, so now it's a little it's a little ink. Okay, so if you want, now will be the time to jiggle, 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 jiggle. Okay, did that work? It worked a little bit. So, knowing that I need this to be help in over here more on this side to hold it in we're just we're just going to do it like that and push it and push it 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 now the good thing about wire is once you leave that there for a couple of days it's going to stay there forever okay and this one really doesn't have a problem <clears throat> so it's cupped here it's cupped here and it's cupped in the back it's not going anywhere we'll take this we'll take these two 22 wires come on these two 20 wires and we'll do a little curly cue around like this and bring it to the back to make sure this doesn't and fall out <clears throat> okay so here's where we were oh sorry 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 so let's uh take our pliers all the way across as soft and fast as possible we're going to squish and turn so it'll be more straight Yours, I trust and believe, is going to be more straight than mine. I should have moved it over a little teeny bit that way. But, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, it's already in there. It's already in there, so I'm not going to move anything. Let's get our 28 and keep it pushing. Now, mind you, the 28 this time, the 28 this time, we're going to squish those bottom wires up and together, okay? And I'm pushing and squishing at the same time. Okay? It's going to untwist. Just go slow. Okay? There. By the time we finish the bale, this part probably won't even show at all. We're going to cover it up. That's what wire weaving to me is all about. Covering up, covering up, covering up, covering up. Push. Let's get to the next two. And I push that down, usually with my thumb like that. And I come back and push, push, push. Slice open. Push. I just said all that and I wasn't recording. Shit. What did I say? Okay, I said... We're still going to pull up, and while we're pulling it up, eventually this is all going to be one smooth move, right? And we're going to go down, and we're still going to push and turn. Push and turn. Always pushing, always turning. Put it through that way. 
or bring it through however you want to bring it through just push 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 and then you memorize where your wires are and you know what three wires feels like and you can put that push that through with your thumb okay and go 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 not right now after a while Yep, I'm listening to about a documentary on sea anemones. <laughs> I like anything involving the ocean. Okay. So when you download these videos and put them all in one pile, that's why I numbered them. Then you can um, tell the speed to go however you want the speed to go. So, And then you can always press stop. I mean, pause, 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 pause. You say, Watashi, well, yeah, but the wires are still going wonky. You leave those wires alone. I know what I'm doing. Just a minute. Hold on to your shorts. Would you stop doing that, please? That one looks kind of wonky, but that's okay here. There. Okay. Let's keep it pushing. Let's do this oh, 10 more times. Okay. Each row is one time. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is, no, it just looks, it will fix it in just a second. I am going to scoot this. Wait, no, I'm going to scoot this behind and pull the front forward because I got a little a little spot right there I could push that in okay and then in the back I'm gonna push this one forward okay so that's gonna go forward the bottom is gonna stay this way and we're gonna push it into any shape since our stones are both raw yeah and eventually that's gonna adhere to the you know the little dip there and a little dip there Let's turn it over and let's pull this out. See, there's a nice little curved spot right there. We're just going to wait. Let's, let's do it some more. Okay, so this is going around that way. This is coming forward this way. And they're almost kissing. But that Nothing's going to come apart. We're still going to use this to make a curly cue. Cover that up. So I'm going to curly cue this away, right? And then we can do the 3-3 three, three weave, 2-3 weave, whatever we would want. Go ahead and make another curly cue and go on and around and on and on and around back to the front. And we'll have a cute little dippity do there. That will hold everything in place. Yours is smaller than this, or so it looks. So your bail doesn't need to be as high as my bail is. I like to make the bail appropriate size for the pendant and I really hate getting rid of wire so that's why I'm making a, a bigger bail <laughs> okay okay there we go mind you we see this sideways because I'm intentionally po posting it this way so you can see there's a little dippity do there so that thing is going to stay right there there's a little dip right there, so we want that wire there to hug and not fall out. If I were to drop this 10 times on the floor, like I usually do, uh, on the carpet, it should stay in here. If it pops out, then I know I need to do something different. Or at the very, at the very least, later, when you're all finished, we can just tweak it and go dink, and that will compress these wires to go this way and it's going to grab on tighter. Okay? Okay. Let me add a few more and then I'll be back. So, what I'm going to do is... No, it just looks... It We'll fix it in just a second. I am going to scoot this... 
wait, no, I'm gonna scoot this behind and pull the front forward because I got a little a little spot right there. I could push that in, okay? And then in the back, I'm gonna push this one forward, okay? So that's gonna go forward. The bottom is gonna stay this way. And we're gonna push it into any shape since our stones are both raw. Yeah, and eventually that's gonna to adhere to the, you know, the little dip there and a little dip there. Let's turn it over and let's pull this out. See, there's a nice little curve spot right there. We're just gonna, wait, let's, let's do it some more. Okay, so this is going around that way. This is coming forward this way and they're almost kissing that nothing's gonna come apart. We're still gonna use this to make a curly cue, cover that up. So I'm gonna curly cue this way, right? And then we can do the three, three weave, two, three weave, whatever we would want. Go ahead, make another curly cue and go on and around and on and on and around back to the front. And we'll have a cute little dippity do there. That will hold everything in place. Yours is smaller than this or so it looks. So your bail doesn't need to be as high as my bail is. I like to make the bail appropriate size for the pendant. And I really hate getting rid of wire, so that's why I'm making a, a bigger bail. <laughs> okay. Okay, there we go. Mind you, we see this sideways because I'm intentionally put posting it this way so you can see there's a little dippity do there so that thing is going to stay right there there's a little dip right there so when we want that wire there to hug and not fall out if i were to drop this 10 times on the floor like i usually do uh on the carpet it should stay in here if it pops out then i know i need to do something different or at the very at the very least later when you're all finished we can just tweak it and go dink, and that will compress these wires to go this way, and it's going to grab on tighter. Okay? Okay. Let me add a few more, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I'm finished. This doubled in over is going to be about there, and then we'll decide what to do after that. Anyway, I'm right-handed, so I always like to end my stuff on the right side. Remember, we've got to go around three times. You're not going to see it. This is going to be in the back. Next time, we'll work on a different bale. But for right now, I'm just going to um, push that down. I'm going to build, pin, bend this up. I'm going to leave the weaving wire intact because I don't know what I want to do after this. I don't know. I'm going to wrap that around my finger. Pull that up some more. Keep pushing. Now, with the weaving wire, of course, still attached, I'm going to center it as best I can. If not, we got to cover that up too. Okay, so I'm pulling tight, 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 going down underneath the front as much as possible so we can cover that up right now. Okay, and there we go. I don't want to let go of that wire. I don't want it to get loose. So those wires, let me hold that with my other hand. These wires that were sticking out over here on the side, let's go ahead and do a, a let's do a 3-2 wrap, okay? So we're going to go around the bottom. Pull taut, push that wire out the way so nobody sees it. And we're going to go, this is the bottom wire now. This is the bottom wire. We're going to do that, the three thing. Every time, every time I do the three thing. Two, three. Okay, and I'm going to flick that back up so you can go around once, push twice, push. And the final clincher is the one on the bottom now. And we're going to push that so all of that, and before it will be in, in line. Like that. 
Okay? And there you go. Now you can stop right there if you want to. But like I said, I'm going to go ahead and push this out. I mean, uh, three to this all the way out. And then I'm going to go around. No, go around. Right? I don't know yet. We'll see. <laughs> I'm going to do a three two all the way out. I don't really know how I want to do this, but this needs to go, well, it doesn't matter, it needs to go one way or another to hold on so this, if you drop it, doesn't pop out. So on yours, you could just make a little tiny baby loop, get it up over that shoulder. I just want to cover up that spot right there. Okay. Maybe. I'm still going to push that that way because I want to cover up that spot right there. Okay. Now, I'm going to probably cut off a piece. There, see, your eye isn't focused on the wires going around this way. So, let's put out, pull out, oh, I don't know, at least two feet. And then I can cut that off. Because now we're going to start doing some sewing. Okay, now, now what? I moved it up too high, that's what. So I'm going to take the end of my wire and I'm going to sew it through. Okay. Gotta pull it through, make sure it's not gonna. I want it to. Yeah, that's good, that's good, that's good. Okay, so I'm, that's exactly where I want it to stay on top of those two wires. I'm gonna put my thumb there and pull really fast and hard. So it's gonna stay there. And now. I, you see that was my third loop on the bottom, right? Well, now it's the top. And we're going to keep on pushing. We're going to do two and go back to three. We're going to do two and go back to three. Except now we're upside down. That's all. We're just upside down. Okay. Let's keep it pushing. One. I just did all that and again and I wasn't recording. Damn it. Sorry. So, I put the thread behind these two wires, and I did two, then I did three, then I did two, let's do three, and we can work towards the front. Okay, one more, and then two, and sometimes I just do it like that, and then one. I want to put the curtain cue in the front. Two, three, two, come on. Two, and one. Two, three, okay, let me see, 
Okay, we're doing good. Come on. Doing good, doing good. And see, let's turn, flip it back. We're almost there. And yes, I'm going to sew it down to this one now. So let's turn it back upside down so we can see. Well, I want to make those, uh, everything as smooth as possible. Okay. Two, three. Did I reach the other end yet? Come on. No. Oh, I got to take that apart. I put it on the wrong spot. Let me take that apart and work it all the way to over here. Be right back. Okay, see, so now that's right over the top. But I still don't, I don't want the wires, I want the wires to be straight up and down. So let's go two more. And just trust and believe. Okay. See, that's almost right over, over, over top. Okay, come up in between the legs. Ah. There's one. Two. Let's see how that looks. It's not going right. I need it to go under. See, so now this is right right space for this to go around now I need it to go under here and it's not acting right so gotta pause for the cause sometimes I gotta lift that wire up but I shouldn't have to lift that damn wire up budge 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 Get under there. Hold on. See, I gotta put it so close up to my face. I know that there's a space. You see that space right there? It's right there. Good boy, don't step on your sister. You know she hates that. Come on, move. No. Magic. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. See, that's why we get paid the big bucks. Because <laughs> it doesn't often. Now, I've got to bend it back over here. Bring it up through the legs. See? And then later. Well, here, let's just do it now before my time runs out. Come on. Stay still. Focus. Let's just push those together and straighten that up. Well, just trust me, it's going to look straight. Just trust me. Trust and believe. Ouch, ouch, ouch. The thumb don't like that much pressure. Two, three. Now we're going to do this out. No, you can't chew that. Did I do three? I don't know. I lost count. Then two. You can stop flicking your tail because my wire needs to be in my lap. You got the whole bed you can lay on. <laughs> yeah, it's mother son time. Let's see, I'm gonna push that over. There. So it'll be nice and fluid. So we're see you. I'm gonna make it. No, that's again. I just did all that and forgot to hit the damn button. So now we're going to make a cute little curl over here. As you can see, I had to sew it to the two base wires in front on the left. Yeah, that messed up my stitching. That's okay. Trust and believe you're not going to be able to see it. 
Well, that's a lie. You're not going to notice it. Yeah, that. See, in this, you're going to keep hold the thumb there. Start bending it around, bending it around, bending it around. And keep on with our uh, two, three. <sighs> Come on. Come on, over your legs, thank you. No, magic, no. Ugh. Let's just make that go out like that, how's that? There, okay. No. Put a few more stitches on it and we're just going to hold it there and curl it slow 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 like that okay Let's keep on pushing. Do I want to leave it there? Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, that's good. Everything's attached. Okay, let's cut it there. And this is how I always end mind, as you all know, on a curly Q note. Where am I? I'm in the right space. Okay. I usually do four. On these, on uh, sometimes when I'm gonna end it. Now I'm gonna pull it back through under both of these, loop it at least once around the bottom, and then again I just did all that and forgot to hit the damn button. So now we're gonna make a cute little curl over here. As you can see, I had to sew it to the two base wires in front on the left. Yeah, that messed up my stitching. That's okay. Trust and believe you're not going to be able to see it. Well, that's a lie. You're not going to notice it. Yeah, that. See, in this, you're going to keep hold the thumb there. Start bending it around, bending it around, bending it around. And keep on with our uh, two, three. <sighs> Come on. Get over there. Thank you. That's a two. Three. And then two again. Push, push, push. Push, push, push. Push, push, push. Come on. Over your legs. Thank you. No, magic. No. Ugh. Let's just make that go out like that. How's that? There. Okay. No. Put a few more stitches on it and we're just going to hold it there and curl it slow, 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 like that. Okay. Let's keep on pushing. Do I want to leave it there? Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, that's good. Everything's attached. 
Okay, let's cut it there. And this is how I always, in mind, as you all know, on a curly Q note. Where am I? I'm in the right space. Okay. I usually do four on these. On uh, sometimes when I'm gonna end it. Now I'm gonna pull it back through under both of these. Loop it at least once around the bottom. And then five hours later, we're um, we're almost finished. Okay, we're we're finished. I'm just gonna cut these off. Okay, I, I really hate wasting wire. So if, if this was your sister, I would do this. Cut these back off. Take the round nose pliers that I can't find. Okay, so you cut it off a quarter of an inch. Take the back pliers and just curl it up into each itself. And that's it. So let's sew this down and we'll be almost finished. I can't stand waste, wasting wire. Let's just sew this down. No, that's Mama's. Got to pay attention to where it's going. I want you to go over there on the edge, please. Thank you. Pull tight. Ugh. I got to hurry and plug my battery in. Dang it. Okay, so we got to move that over. Wrap it once again around the bottom. One this time. Mm-hmm. Mister. Okay, now we're going to cut that to where it's not going to show. And then we got to pinch it down. And make sure you're only cutting that. <laughs> Lord knows I've cut stuff that wasn't supposed to be cut before. It's not fun. Oops, oops, oops. Hey, no, give me that. Give me. Give me that wire. Give me that wire. Thank you. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Quick like a bunny. Come on, focus. I'm just gonna cinch that together. Okay, wait, I gotta come on. Focus. And then we're just going to make two little baby curly cues. Damn it, this is 24. Okay, so now we're going to focus, get our round nose pliers, put it at the very tippy, 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 tip. I really admire those of you. Let's let it go because I need it to get to the tippy, tippy, tip. And I point the pointy end down and keep turning so it'll be underneath the wire. See? The point is right there. Okay? And let's put it at the tippy tippy tip. Let go. Grasp it again. Point it down. And then you could put it back up. There you go. Okay. Somebody go put your 50 bucks down and I'm going to finish this up and mail it to you. But now I'm going to take the lazy way out because I'm getting hungry. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Push those back together, right? Come on. And... Is that long enough? It's long enough. Let's move this forward. Move them all the same. There we go. 
And all in one movement. It has to be all in one movement. I'm going to point mine down. So at the tippy tippy tip. I'm going to pull them up and turn really fast one time. That's it. There you go. Doesn't touch your skin. All right. Put your 50 bucks down. Thank you very much for this wonderful experience. Oh, look at all those beautiful rainbows you can see now, huh? Look at that. That only took six hours. Ouch, 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 ouch. Ow! What age do they learn to retract them damn claws? And there you go. Let me take a screenshot. Thank you. And thank you for this wonderful experience. <laughs> 25 is a charm.